for almost four years, champs, the public demanded to hear from the doc regarding the Twitch suspension. I guess since you all... All right. Missed the point with my personal statement. Here we go. Maybe it's time to tell my side of the story. Yes! Huh, yes! 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 You see, there was a lawsuit pending. Okay. And as part of that arbitration, all parties were not allowed to speak publicly about the case. <laughs> okay. Right? I respected those rules. True. My lawsuit against Twitch was eventually resolved, as you all know. But even then, as part of the settlement, all parties were still prohibited from speaking publicly about the case or the settlement. Right. However, if one side violated that confidentiality, then, then you can then say the other side, side could respond. That's right. Okay. And again, now this is all right. Champs, Let's go. Again, I respected all the confidential obligations. That's <laughs> right. Mm mm. But apparently Twitch's own disgruntled employees didn't feel the need to abide by those same obligations. Oh. Cody Connors. By name. Ex-Twitch employee. By name. Wasn't even involved. Leaks. Twitch's reported reason. Years later. Mm -hmm. Cody. Why, why, you, why do this? What was the point? This was settled professionally. And you, knowing how black and white the internet is, you decided, you fucking rat, to leak the reported reason Twitch banned me in 2020. Okay. Well, I mean, for what? Call him Cody? a rat. Why? Did you not know the repercussions from spewing lies about the two-time? Did you not know the repercussions lies. of accusing me, Cody Connors? But didn't you... You see, you don't know shit, and it was obvious from your tweet. You didn't have any firsthand knowledge of my dispute with Twitch. You said that I got banned from Twitch because I was sexting a minor through Whispers messages? <laughs> That's do you even know said. what the legal definition of sexting is? I do. And yeah, I used Twitch's Whispers, but trust me, I wasn't sexting anyone. You also okay. said the word minor, Cody. I even made sure that word was emphasized in my statement, edited, etc., just to make sure these so-called journalists uh. would pick up on it. <laughs> and boy, oh boy, did they ever, champs. When you oh, and all these no. so-called journalists, Cody, fired off your tweets, did any of you consider that the Twitch user may have been over the legal age of consent at the time of the messages? You didn't. Neither did any of these journalists, and neither did Twitch at the time of the ban. You also tried to tell the world that I was trying to meet up with this user at TwitchCon, but it's you're wrong. True. Let's set the record straight. I never intended to meet this user ever. We never made plans to meet at TwitchCon or anywhere else, and in fact, we n never met in person ever. Uh-huh. Your bullshit accusations gave false courage to other former Twitch employees to make shit up as well. I suspect all of you sort of planned and coordinated this attack. These big time publications, these, these journalists, these various outlets are sort of just gossip, gossip channels now. Don't you think champs? They act like they're just gossip channels now without any real journalism and real research happening. Well, then what's your side? They report on, on all this based on leaks from two former Twitch employees, one of whom was supposedly on the trust and safety team. What happened? If these anonymous sources worked on the trust and safety team at the time of my Twitch suspension in 2020, then you would hope they would tell the truth. And what was the truth? But apparently that's just too much to ask. Where's the truth? If these former trust and safety team members, and by the way, I know exactly who they are. <laughs> actually had first-hand knowledge, then what they conveniently left out is, one, oh. Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally admitted that the whisper messages were not sexting. And two, Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, 
internally acknowledged that the whispers did not constitute child sexual abuse material CSAM. I'll say it again. Neither I nor the Twitch user exchanged any sexual graphic messages or images. Cody Connors and these other anonymous sources are trying to paint a picture that I was exchanging sexually explicit messages and photos with the Twitch user. That never happened. I even used the word inappropriate purposely. And look at how it was defined by everyone, champs. Huh? Including these defaming articles. I'm sorry, but mutual bantering with inappropriate jokes taken out of context should have never led to me getting banned from Twitch in the first place. I mean, how would each of you look if all of your private DMs, your text messages, your chats were looked at, dissected, and taken out of context by someone who's deliberately trying to find something inappropriate in those words. So what, uh... And this is not a situation okay. where a victim publicly accuses someone of wrongdoing. That never happened here. Okay. We're talking about allegations that Twitch made against me as a half-baked reason for justifying their actions of suspending and shutting down my channel. Allegations that Twitch made without even a legal analysis of whether the whisper messages were legal! You see, I engage with my community. I engage with other streamers. And through Twitch whispers, I communicate with Twitch users. Conversations that consisted of a variety of playing games and gaming politics, content creation, sure. random stuff. This was the extent of my whispers with this Twitch user. On June 21st, 2020, my ex Twitch partner manager learns that I exchanged whispers with the Twitch user. And I say ex partner manager because for years, this guy didn't do anything for me, my community, or my channel. For years. Uh -huh. I'm talking no front page love. You're talking about the face of the platform, right? Literally, the face of the platform. We heart, and I know Champions Club remembers this. We got, we got zero front page love on the website. Mm -hmm. Uh, he, was never on my channel. He didn't follow me on Twitter. He, he wouldn't even inform us about Twitch rival tournaments. We're talking about the two time Twitch rival tournament. Oh, I'm sorry. I got, I would you, would you want to play in it? <laughs> we got zero support from this guy. And it was just so obvious that he carried a grudge against the two time. So after we yeah, signed with Twitch true. in 2019, yeah, sure. we asked for a new partner manager. Okay. And, just a few months later, that ex Twitch partner manager right. is directly involved with getting me banned. <laughs> Coincidence? Uh huh. So now what? The Twitch user tells the ex Twitch partner manager that they do not want to report anything to Twitch. I'll repeat that sentence one more time just in case anybody missed that one. The Twitch user tells this ex-Twitch partner manager that they do not want to report anything to Twitch. But this ex-Twitch partner manager encourages the user and even directs them to file a report directly with Twitch, even though the user told them clearly that we never physically met anywhere and that no photographs were exchanged. On June 24th, 2020, Twitch's special operations team receives and reviews the user's report. Wouldn't they all find this... no issues and determine that it did not warrant any further escalation to Twitch's law enforcement response team. Okay. <clears throat> that would have been the end. <laughs> that should have been the end. But that partner manager, oh boy, oh boy, did he had it out. Yeah, he had it out for the two time. He finds out that no further action will be taken. So what does he do? He personally escalates the report to a friend on the Twitch's LER team. The LER team, remember, that's the Twitch's law enforcement response team. Right. He escalates the report to a friend on Twitch's LER team. Okay. So a day later, on June 25th, the LER analyst pulls the entirety of the whisper messages and begins discussing them with his director of the LER team. Uh-huh. Mind you. How do you know that? This director is on vacation at that time 
and does not have access to their computer or work files. L let me just remind you, I went through a multi-year, multi a, a big time arbitration, okay? And uh, you know, you discover a lot of stuff. I guess that's how. Mind you, this director is yeah. on vacation at that time. The LER analyst cherry picks and sends a few targeted excerpts out of context from the whisper messages to this director. Now, if you do this, you can make anyone's messages look inappropriate, even when they aren't. Within less than one hour, this LER analyst and his director have made the decision to suspend me from Twitch. Twitch submits a report to NCMEC. You guys all read those little articles, huh? The NCMEC. Twitch submits that report. Mm -hmm. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Guess what? As far as I know, and over four years have passed, they didn't do anything with the report. As far as I know, they didn't escalate Twitch's report to law enforcement. <laughs> Mind you, the same people that made this decision admit internally that the messages did not constitute sexting. The same people that made this decision at Twitch admit internally that the messages did not warrant any child sexual abuse material charge. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitted they did not perform any legal analysis of whether the messages exchanged were illegal in any way. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitting that they never investigated the age of consent in the jurisdiction where the user's messages were sent and received. Okay, so it was 16 Twitch or 17. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban yeah. me without ever interviewing me, the user, yeah. or any other third the party, including the partner manager. It's fucking unbelievable! I'm not going to get into every detail regarding my legal case, <clears throat> but these former Twitch employees that claim to have firsthand knowledge, they mm -hmm. just don't have a clue. They didn't report any facts. The judge in the case determined that the whispers were not illegal. <laughs> so then why did Twitch use these messages against me? I, I, why did Twi Twitch treat the doc so differently from... There are other streamers. I mean, outside of the obvious. I mean, just take a look at me. <laughs> Unfiltered. The realest motherfucker in this industry. Six foot eight. Gorgeous. Athletic. Successful. College degree. College athlete. Bourbon business. Gaming studio. Beautiful family. And trust me, we've worked hard for over a decade to improve as a person a husband and father and to get where we're at today. I mean, I'm in such a good place today. And all these people, they all act like they're just so perfect. I'm not perfect. Yeah. I don't claim to be perfect. Yeah. Eh, sometimes I do. But I also didn't do all the shit that they're saying I did. But then that doesn't make a story, right? Okay. They wanted media attention. The media wants controversy. Sure. And by sensationalizing all this with big and accurate headlines like sexting and sexually explicit, you all got what you wanted at the expense of the tube time. The reality is they wanted to cut down the dock. Plain and simple. Take a look at some of these horrendous acts of Twitch streamers that were never banned. I've got some examples right here. Example number one, a streamer that frequently used the N-word while publicly streaming, which constitutes a violation of Twitch's policies if accompanied by hateful intent. Twitch scheduled Wait, a meeting with the streamer stream? to ascertain his intent to determine whether his contact was a violation of Twitch's policies, ultimately determining it was not a oh. breach of Twitch's policies. Why wasn't I called into a, firm, into a meeting? Uh-huh. Why wasn't my intent taken into consideration, champs? Hmm. Example number two. 
Streamer was reported for discussing doing things with deceased animals and discussing pedophilia all while live streaming. Never suspended, but instead given a multi-million dollar contract. Example number Who's three. That? Streamer was reported for a sexually explicit stream involving children and telling children to send Snapchats of them playing with themselves. Never suspended, but instead, hmm, given a multi-million dollar contract. Who was that? It's so obvious that certain Twitch executives, employees involved had personal biases against the doc. And used all of this as an opportunity to yeah. terminate my contract. Go back and look at the timing of all this, too. Huh. The doc's termination lines up with two preferable, profitable, and expensive streamers leaving Mixer. Oh, Shroud and Ninja. Yeah. As soon as Twitch knew that Mixer had failed. And go look at the timing. Uh -huh. These other expensive streamers needed a new streaming platform. So Twitch rushed through its decision to terminate the two time. You see, I shouldn't even be banned from Twitch. Yeah. Okay. It has affected us on so many levels. Back in 2020 and now in 2024. And Cody, Connors, I just have to say it again. Why would you do this? Was he going to sue him or not? Like, like I said, it, it, that's the thing. This is was like, handled professionally years ago. Because you're no not fucking wrongdoing. Like, who cares? But because of you, Cody. Oh, here we go. We just lost. Ah, fuck, man. Okay, you lost a lot of Unfortunately, money. Unfortunately, we have to lay off people from Midnight Society. So, okay. what are you going to do? Because of you, Cody. He's going to sue for defamation? Yeah, that's what he needs to do. I mean, if, it, if it's not true, he needs to sue him. It's not even a question. <clears throat> you know, through all this, we are where we are. What are my thoughts? I'll talk I'm about like a fucking I man. I'll accept it. But I don't accept to sitting quietly by and let these idiots attack me with false accusations. No. Okay. Then. For all these doc haters out there too. Oh then, man. The ones that project and project and project and project and worry about everyone else's problems. Right. I, I can't understand that mindset. I don't give, I could care less. We've always stayed in our lane, but somehow, some way these people, they just get in our lane. Uh huh. For all you doc haters. I'm sure you'll dissect, dissect all of this and still find a way to publicly criticize me. Do what you need to do. I'll say this. This isn't for you. Uh-huh. This was for my team today, my community, my friends, la familia that have supported me. And I'm not denying the exchange of whispers, champs. I'm not denying that to, to all of you out there. It looks bad. I have no way of knowing if the Twitch users thought our exchange of whispers, whispers was inappropriate. If it was, I apologize. All I, all I know is that I never did what Twitch, Cody Connors, or the public is claiming that I did. Are you going to show the, you're going to show them or not? I mean, you got a screen behind That's you. That's it. I'm not saying anything more about any of this, right? So unless I need to, because trust me, I have more. I haven't disclosed. Tune in next time. I just want to get back to what we do best. Put on a show and climb our way to the tippity top of the mountain, man. In our own lane. Okay. All right. That's it. So you're going to show the messages or... Are we going to sue Cody Connors? Here's what's interesting report, about Cody is that if Cody said something that he was sexting a minor and that he had intentions to meet the minor, is it, does this happen? If he, if he said that 
and Doc lost money on it, which very clearly Doc lost money. You, you really think that Doc didn't lose money because of these accusations? Of course he did. So if Doc lost money and the accusations aren't true, then how is this not defamation and how is Cody not being sued into oblivion? You see what I'm saying? Because, like, in my opinion, I think somebody is wrong here. Like, basically, somebody here is lying. Is it too big? Now, this is what I think happened. The lockers, what do you mean? And, and I, I, I have to preface and, and, and disclaimer and say it, this is not what I am sure of. But this is what I this allegedly <laughs> Dr. Disrespect said one thing in this stream that was incredibly revealing. He said that the person was not a minor in the place that they were at at the time. Do you guys remember him saying that explicitly? So, the age of consent inside of the U.S. is between 16 and 18. Some states it's 16, some it's 18. To be honest, the majority are actually 16. I, 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 don't, I, I could look it up, but I don't want to look it up for obvious reasons. Uh, I, I, there, a majority of the states are actually under 18 for the age of consent. That also implies that and assumes that he was talking to somebody in America. Now, he could have been talking to somebody overseas with a completely different age of consent. This is totally unknown. But what I think is definitely known, and by definitely, I mean allegedly, hypothetically, theoretically, possibly known, is that the person was probably not 18. I don't think so. Who cares? It, that's, I, I'm not going to tell you what to think. I'm not going to tell you what to believe. I'm not going to say you need to do this or that or anything. I am simply providing my analysis on what I think has happened and what I think it is. Now, whether you care or not, that's up to you. I'm not trying. I'm trying to look at and see what the truth is. Okay. Bans asked me stupid. Sexting is obvious, right? And so, because like so, Cody Connors said two things that were because so he said two things that were apparently not true. But no sexting is what he says, right? Exactly. So Cody says that he was sexting. Twitch says legally that he wasn't sexting, and then uh, Doc also says legally that he wasn't sexting. So how is it that Cody doesn't get a defamation lawsuit for this? I think Doc needs to sue him. If you want to redeem your reputation, sue the fuck out of him and sue the fuck out of the other people at Twitch who said that. That's what you need to do. Because like it, it, my, in my opinion right now is that you're not showing the messages. You're not saying the age of the person. You're saying they were of the age of consent at which the place the messages were received at. I just want to try out Black Ops 6 beta what? live right now. I mean, your whole career is is massively damaged by this situation. Like, I'm talking about Doc, Doc's whole career is massively damaged by this situation. And Cody's is too, by the way. Like, uh, I, I think it's probably going to be really hard for Cody to get another job now, now that this has happened. Because, like, if you're working in a tech company, do you want to have somebody that leaks stuff like this working for you? Like, I'd be fucking fear terrified, right? I wouldn't want that. And I, by the way, I've spoken with Co Cody Connors before. I, I know him. I would not say personally, right? I think I met him once. Um, but he's always been really nice and really kind to me. I've had nothing but positive interactions with Cody Connors. Uh, I, I worked with him on, like, a couple of things, like, you know, like, literally over five years ago. So, like, I... I I, I don't have, like, a vendetta against Cody. But I'm saying that, like, if this is not true, he needs to get sued. Because this is a situation where, like, somebody needs to get burned at the stake. 
And it's going to be one person or another. Because somebody did something incredibly wrong. That's what I think happened. Someone is lying and someone is wrong. He won't because it's true. This is what I think happened. He can sue Cody for breaking the confidentiality clause. Well, he can also sue him for defamation. Why do you need to sh show messages if law enforcement agencies and Twitch took the position of no wrongdoing here? To clear your name in the public space. Look at what, look at Johnny Depp. That's the reason why. It's because this is going to follow him for the next 10, 20 years. People are always going to bring this up. People aren't going to want to work with him. This is a mat, like, this is huge. Like, this is, like, there are only, like, three bad things that you can do. This is one of those things. It's, like, uh, interaction, inappropriate interactions with a minor, uh, rape, and probably one other that I, I can't think of, right? But, like, those are, like, the three things that are, like, act he's just goofing around. Day one... My mind? Yeah, he's goofing around. No, come on. Yeah, that's all. And racism? No, I don't think people care that much about racism anymore. Uh, unless it's like crazy, crazy, crazy racism. He can't sue him because what Connor said is not too far from the truth to be defamation. The amount of vitriol Doc has for Cody makes it improbable that he has a probability and still hasn't sued him. Yeah, there's that too. Might have won in the eyes of the law, but is he winning in public opinion? No. Well, yeah, and it's like... The truth is that if you look at this, if you look at this in terms of like money, right? This problem for Doc will probably cost Doc collectively $5 million minimum. Like we're talking about absolute five minimum, $5 million minimum. So will the lock suit more? Sure, sure. But like, let's just look at 5 million. Will the lawsuit cost less than $5 million? Absolutely. So... If you are a business-minded person and you're trying to look out for yourself, wouldn't you want to do the thing that would have a high return on investment? It's not a guaranteed win. It is if, if it was not sexting and it was determined to not be sexting even inside internally with Twitch. And also that he said that he was going to meet up with that person. Like, that is, like, these are two very specifically things. Legally not sexting. Yes. So, Cody doesn't have five million. It's not about the money. It's about sending a message. It, that's the point. Uh, Cody never used it. Yeah. If he's innocent, then suing is the only way he can crawl his ba way back up for the majority of people. What about the costly legal fees? I think that's nothing. Like, that's nothing compared to the amount of uh, of money he's going to lose over time by not being able to do this. And, like, not getting sponsors, etc. He's wanting to stay in his own lane and not attack people. He could have named everyone who bashed him, but he didn't. He just jabbed back. Has it ever occurred to you that maybe he didn't name those people because the accusations weren't true? What if he was lying? What if he's referring to Pokimane saying the N-word with the A in 2011? Like, or he's talking about, like, a black streamer using the N-word, which is clearly a very different thing. Like, uh, you, you see what I'm saying, right? So, like, if you're not, and, like, if you're not lying... Like, I have no problem. Like, you're not lying? Okay. And, like, it, it, like getting minors to send you inappropriate Snapchats. Did, did, did Doc or did he not say that somebody who was offered a multi-million dollar contract or given a multi-million dollar contract, I don't remember what the words were, uh, was found to be, like, soliciting or getting, a, 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 like, inappropriate Snapchats from minors? He said that. Like, I, I, I remember hearing something very similar to that. Not getting, encouraging.
Do you think his career is over? Do you think he can pull whenever, a comeback? We're glad to have you back. <laughs> Mr. Oh, with the I mean, you're always going to have people that are going to watch it, right? Lawsuits also take time. and You don't always want to announce a lawsuit until your legal team is fully prepared. To throw stones from the past. Well, but it's you like... Gone seven years ago and built an amazing arena. And no matter where you decide to build, the Champions Club will be there. Uh, stop hating. I'm not hating. I feel like I'm probably the only person who's trying to look at the facts here. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to be fair as much as I can be. I don't care about whether this happened or not. I don't know, Doc. This isn't my problem. This is between Doc and Twitch. I don't give a fuck about this. You think I'm going to go and lay down and, like, worry about this? I don't give a fuck. I'm not invested in this. This isn't my issue. It's his issue. I don't have a horse in this race. Why are you covering it then? Because I think that I want to give it a fair shake because I worry that other people won't look at it in the right way. And also it's interesting. And it's content. Yeah. People like watching it. He also insinuated that he would take action by saying he won't sit and do nothing while co people like Cody lie about him. He did. He did insinuate that. So, like, unless he's announcing a lawsuit, I mean, I'm sorry, but I, I, I don't really have a lot of, you know, I, I can't really believe anything. I have no idea. This is the best case scenario doctor disrespect position is that he said that to bait people into thinking this, but it wasn't actually true. That's, I think, because remember how he changed his, like, his prof, his Twitter header for that? Yeah, the only thing people confirm is people talking shit. He said he wanted to bait news outlets. That's pretty weird, though. So risky. I think that's crazy risky. He said they weren't a minor because they were the age of consent, which isn't the same thing. No, he said they were the age of consent uh, at the place that they were receiving the messages. I wish I can filter. Yeah. These donations, it's insane. Um, he mentioned jurisdiction. He did. Inappropriate doesn't mean illegal. The words are very specific. But if it wasn't sexual, is the age relevant? And then also, yeah, that's another thing that I find interesting is that Doc said that the messages were inherently not sexual and even Twitch said that they weren't sexual. Early prototype. So if Twitch said that they weren't... Good to see you inside of the chat, inside of the arena. Like, I, that's what's... It's not allegations when you admitted you sent sexual person messages to a person you knew was a minor right when the allegations drop and write a fake story months later. He knew why not to cover your name immediately and admit you sexed... That's the thing, right? Is that he said inappropriate and not sexual? Yeah, but like, how do you say? Like, I mean, I mean, it, I, I feel like these these can be synonymous, right? And, and like, it, it's like intentionally vague. I mean, dirty joke. Yeah, is it like a dirty joke? Is saying profanity inappropriate around um, a minor? Like, I don't know. Like, it, like it, it's just, it's such a vague term that, I mean, I'm not going to go off and like, the, oh, this is what happened. That's what happened. It's intentionally, it is intentionally vague. And the thing is that Doc is not releasing the messages. It's very clear that he's not going to release the messages. That, to me, is the only thing. Like, there are two things. So, I'll just do this. Play Warhammer 2. I thought Warhammer 2 was like a, was a board game. Um. Like, don't you have to go to a store and sit down at one of okay. those tables and there's a whole bunch of guys uh, cards out and start throwing cards down with little statues? Isn't that Warhammer So. Games? Rocket Boy, thank you for the Ways Doc can... You are very loved for prove don't want you to forget the love he is let's innocent in and let's dominate okay number one sue Cody and win 
Uh, Sue Cody for defamation. Schnozzle, thank you for the five. We love you, Doc, and your family. Nobody will stop me from watching the Doc. Been watching you for years, and we'll continue to do so. And number two is release unedited you just gave me messages. And usually those, that's uh, this is this is it. Diarrhea, but not this time. You want to judge, little bro? Well. No, I'm not. But I think that the way I'm looking at things is accurate. White Dire Wolf, thank you for the twenty dollar donation. I always believed in you. And enters a gonna eat I, I do. I think the way I'm looking at this is very accurate. What a weird thing to say. AJ Dams, thank you for the five hundred dollar donation. Releasing messages have consequences for said minor? Well, then redact the name. Then just redact the name. You, why not just redact the name? And also, he said they weren't a minor. Do you think Doc has the messages? Absolutely, he has the messages. Or somebody on his legal team act uh, um, has the messages. Somebody has it. Because they, they would have had to go through the messages at some point. At all, yeah. It's, it must be in the court documents. How could it not be in the court documents? Because, like, for example, if they found out that Doc was committing a crime, then they would have had to, like, if, if they, th basically, if you thought that evidence of a crime was, is like, if you thought that a crime was committed and you knowingly destroy evidence, Twitch just co committed a crime by doing that. Like, they, th then they committed a crime themselves. So, and also because clearly this NDA has been broken, why can't he release the messages? Innocent until proven guilty? You can't show arbitration documents that are confidential as it's a private settlement? Well, you can't talk about the arbitration either. Are the, are, are the documents different? I don't know. Couldn't he sue for slander as well, uh, based on the, he has evidence that they knowingly lied? Yeah. Stop ignoring the fact that he admitted it. What, what do you mean by this? I'm confused. You said pretend something happened, nobody's going to care. Now you say it's going to affect him for years? Well, yeah. Uh, like, what? what is this? Why are you so focused on... Do you think that I'm focused on him being innocent? I I'm asking you a genuine question. Do you really think that I care? D do you genuinely think that I care about this? He's talking Midnight Society right now. I got nothing but love for... I mean, that's, that's my team. <laughs> you know? It's my studio. It's my team, but... Uh, my idea for game, you know. Okay. He's just talking about bullshit. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You know, we worked hard to, to get to that. That, that um, was the ultimate goal, champ. That was the ultimate goal. I don't know what the ultimate goal is now. To, to start another game studio? Stop defending him. I'm not defending him. I'm talking about hypotheticals and looking about it from different directions. And... Uh, I know that to people that have already made up their mind about this, I understand this might be upsetting. Uh, I, I get it. But I try to look at this objectively and I think about it and I'm like, what, what really happened here? Why is this happening? How is it happening? A and what really makes sense out of this situation? And so if, if that's upsetting for you to hear, then I think that you've, you're, at the, you're in the wrong place. Like, I really don't have, like, and, and this is a big problem that I have, right? And I've said this before, like, I, I think you spare, it's been Alan of talking about, like all of us. I do, I do, because you're watching. Yeah. Yeah, because you're watching, you're watching. There's a lot of people that watch this, it's content. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. People cannot understand that you can analyze the situation without taking sides. 
And also, oh, by the way, I, I want to give you guys, like, my opinion of, like, what I think happened. And, like, what I, what, like, this is, like, if you want my honest, raw perspective, I think Doc did do something wrong. I think that he did. I think that he used too many qualifying words, and he's not providing information. I think that he did. Because from my perspective, like, yeah, I, I don't, like, now, obviously, this is what I believe. Like, I, I think that's what happened. So it's so weird to me that I have people that are, like, getting mad that I'm not, like, immediately fucking, like, uh, like, I, I don't even know what, what do people want me to do? Like, just make, like, a one-liner about how he's, like, bad? Oh, I, I like thinking about things more interestingly. Like, I do. I, or in a more interesting way. Like, I, 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 I like thinking about it and, and trying to work it out and figure out what's true and what's not. Find out what happened. Yeah, I, I care about, like, knowing what happened more than the people that it happened to, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Since Doc's stream, you haven't mentioned the angle of him being guilty. You've spent the whole time discussing how to get his innocence. Well, think about why that is. Have you ever thought that the reason for why that is, is that him being guilty is a foregone conclusion? And that's already the accepted conclusion that most people have arrived at to begin with? So it's not worth talking about because we already know that. Like, it's it's a foregone... Like, we know that. Like, he said that he didn't. Cody said that he didn't. Um, you know, it, it seems like there's possibilities. So why would we be discussing something that, like, everybody's already agreeing on? Like, what is this? Definitely did something wrong. Yeah. Anyway, um, uh, you know, we can go back and forth about this, but I, I don't want people to, to, you know, like, get weird about that. Ignore the idiots. Yeah, yeah, sure. He never said he did uh, what Cody said. Well, this is my point, right? Is like, so, and, and I want you to think about ways Doc can prove that he's innocent. So, I think that if you just listen and like think about this for like three seconds, proving that he's innocent would imply that he is. Is an inter isn't that interesting, right? And so... Uh, innocent uh, to Twitch or did nothing wrong. I think that... <sighs> I I don't know. But your audience is, is taking you down. I'm thinking Twitch is the way you live your stream. Your audience is taking... What, what is this here? I'm very confused by this. This is that's that's uh, it's just a weird comment. It's gonna ban that guy. Uh, let me read a few more. Yeah, just weird comment. Not releasing the messages is pretty suspicious. Yeah, he could have just taken the name off too. Innocent legally doesn't mean you did something right. That's what I said about he did something wrong, but that wrong might not be legally wrong. Releasing messages is risky, is it not? I mean, you're already in risk and out. You're already in risk mode. You're talking about it. You could have come on and said that, uh, you know, the allegations that are just completely false. Like he could have said that. Yeah, there's no. Like you've already, you've already entered into the realm of the mud. You're in the mud already. So I don't want to hear about. Oh well, we don't want to get dirty. You're already dirty. You've been dirty. Like, that's it. Yeah, yeah, I'm a fucking pick. Exactly, yeah. Th th like, at this point, carry it to the fucking conclusion. You can go lower? Yeah, I know. He said he wasn't sexting and knows what sexting is. He didn't say it wasn't sexual. There's a small difference between sexting and sexual. Uh, you actually bring up a really good point, and I think this is, again, uh, yeah, that's a really great, that's a really great point. And I actually, like, I thought of that, and then I, I didn't talk about it for some reason. But um, you're totally right. Uh, you're absolutely right uh, that the messages could have been sexual, but they were not implied as sexting based off of a legal definition of sexting, which is like, you know, I, I, I don't know. So it shows that they were legal in a different NA jurisdiction, which implies that they were almost certainly le illegal in his. Maybe there's too much personal info about the user in the conversation. You definitely don't want to help the internet find them. Yeah, but you could just redact that part. Like, I, I don't... No. 
no, I, I don't accept that. Just blur it out. Take it out. Uh, but the thing about releasing messages can affect a minor's mental health, even if no one knows about her. So maybe there's a legal process that won't allow him to release the messages. I'm sure that legal process also allowed him to not talk about what he just talked about, too. So, you know, why is he going to do one thing and not the other? Doesn't make sense. I think that... Um, I, I think that Doc is existing inside of the scope of ambiguity and he's not using specifics because he's relying on people's uh, trust in him and charisma for people to assume that he did the right thing and he didn't do something wrong. That's what I think happened is, is happening. Because I think that the more that you get into the specifics of this, because like I don't really like, as I said... You say this is true, Twitch got rid of you, Twitch paid you out. Like, here's what I'm assuming. I'm assuming probably a lot of what Doc just said is true. I am. I think that he, I don't think he probably went and lied about a lot of the stuff that he just said. But at the same time, I don't necessarily know if Twitch is wrong either. And also, by the way, if you're messaging people in different states, doesn't federal law apply anyway? I, I thought that if you're doing things cross like uh, like uh, across different states, the federal law would be what would be applied rather than the state law. I mean, I don't I don't know if I want to look that up on Google, but um, that's I, I don't I could be wrong. And also they could be in another country. You're right. Not for a fact. I know. I know you do, Cody. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Only a feds charge you? Yeah, but it was definitely like when it's virtual, it's not clear. You're assuming the person they were texting is in the U.S. You're right. That is a big assumption that I'm making. What do you think about the fact that Twitch can selectively read private messages of streamers and selectively pursue them legally? It's not as if they were accidentally come across. Um, What do I think about that? I think that individual employees should not have the ability to read through messages without a probable cause. I think that is a uh, it is a violation of privacy. But I do think that if a situation occurs, that those messages should be uh, there and visible for authorities to research and look into. So basically, I don't think that like any Twitch employee should not be able to just like pull up your messages and read them, but they should be made available for their trust and safety or legal team to evaluate whether something is worthy of law enforcement action or not. So like it's kind of a nuanced answer for that. Yeah, you yeah, basically like that that's it. You're assuming a person was female? I am. I am assuming the person was female. And there were the leaked stuff about the dog. Oh, that's also another, that's another thing is that there was all that leaked stuff about, remember that trans cam girl? And then, yeah, so it could have been an adult too, or sorry, a boy too. Uh, so yeah, that's actually a really good point. I forgot all about that. It's actually illegal to travel outside this country to have sex with under anyone under the age of 18 as well. It's already one of the only crimes that you'll be prosecuted in the United States for committing abroad. I believe intent plays into it as well, even if he's not commi co committing it. Yeah, that's true too. And so, well, like, I think that goes in his favor, right? Because if he had no intent to do it, like, I just, I like, I can't see a universe where Cody Connors can say that Doc was planning on meeting up with a person who was underage at TwitchCon. At like, for, like to, didn't he say to have sex with him? I can't see a universe where he says that and either Doc wasn't doing it or he doesn't get sued. Am I crazy for thinking this? Like, one of these two things needs to happen. If Cody's lying, yeah, if Doc probably doesn't want to do defamation. What is this here? Uh, because that means everything will have to be shown to the public, which he seems to not want. I think that's true. I do. I think he can show the messages and even then people wouldn't believe it. He's You're right about that. That's a good point. Cody would be using the layman's definition versus legal. I don't think he could use that argument because he worked too closely with Twitch. And also planning to meet up with uh, is is very like 
I, I don't think that's really that complicated, right? And you are right that Doc could have been, he could have been ambiguous, but it wasn't enough for there to be like a legal uh, level of accountability. You have a theory? Remember that? I do. Um, I, I, I do. I, I have a theory. A game theory? But yeah, I think if Doc really wants to clear his name in the public space, he has to pursue legal action against Cody. If, if what was said wasn't true, I think that he has to pursue legal action if he wants to clear his name publicly.